Meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. We've got a nice looking shot out of our Lawrence camera right now as that nearly full moon is setting here. We've got a few clouds drifting through this morning too. Unfortunately for folks who are hoping to catch that lunar eclipse tonight and early tomorrow morning, not looking like the best viewing opportunity. Unfortunately, we've got some clouds that'll be coming in and we'll have mostly cloudy skies uh, tonight and into tomorrow. Temperatures in Topeka are sitting at 43 degrees. A little bit of a wind chill though. We're feeling like 39 right now. Thanks to our winds. They're out of the east and northeast, uh, mainly running at six miles per hour currently in Topeka, but we're seeing those as highs around 10 miles per hour or so. So you can shave off a few degrees heading into uh, this morning uh, with these winds and your temperatures to get your wind chill. Right now, though, those winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the east and northeast will start to pick up through the afternoon. So we are expecting sustained winds about 15 miles per hour or so. That could give us some wind gusts about 25 miles per hour today. Slightly breezy afternoon. The winds stay present tonight, but they come down just a little bit. But notice they do turn a little bit more towards the south and east by tomorrow morning. And that southerly component is what's going to help to warm things up despite the cloud cover for your Tuesday. Temperatures starting off, we've got mid to upper 30s to the north, low 40s to the south and east at 38 in Concordia. Same goes for Junction City and Hiawatha, 44 at Lawrence and 43 degrees in Emporia and Burlington. Later on this afternoon, with the cloud cover and with our easterly breezes expected, that's going to keep our temperatures likely in the mid to upper 50s today. A little bit on the chilly side, but pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year. Dropping back tonight to near 50 degrees, clouds and that southeasterly wind will help to keep our temperatures very steady through the overnight. And then we do warm up into the low to mid 60s through the daytime tomorrow. We do have a slight chance we could see an isolated shower tomorrow, but the big story after that is definitely going to be our increased wind. Winds. So waking up Wednesday, we could easily be in those 60s. We're going to get pretty windy Wednesday afternoon and even into Thursday, and that's going to send our temperatures up close to 80 degrees by the middle of the week. And then we're just going to come crashing down heading into Friday as a big cold front's on the way. Satellite and radar showing our clouds streaming in this morning. Uh, we'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies later on today, but for now we'll start off with some sunshine today. I think there's our next system that's just now coming on shore in the Pacific Northwest, and that's eventually going to slide our direction, bringing with it that big cool down and another storm chance by the later part of this week. Future track starts this morning at 7 o'clock. We'll have increasing clouds through this afternoon. Mostly cloudy by the time we get to tonight and early tomorrow, and we could see an isolated shower or two start to develop uh, through the daytime. Maybe a couple rumbles of thunder possible here and there, but overall this is going to be a very hit or miss activity through the daytime on Tuesday, and it's going to be pretty light in nature. For Wednesday, we'll start off with some cloud cover, but we're going to end up mostly sunny by the time we get to the afternoon. We do have that second chance for rain coming up Thursday afternoon into the evening as that cold front slides through. That's going to take our rain chance away, so not really expecting this to change over to more of that wintry precipitation, but we are going to have that chance for storms through Thursday afternoon and evening. Temperatures in the 70s on Thursday, dropping back to the lower 30s by the time you wake up Friday. Look at those wind speeds, though. Out of the north and west, we can see some wind gusts around 30 to maybe even 40 miles per hour with high temperatures struggling to make that 40 degree mark. It's going to feel very blustery and pretty raw for Friday heading into the weekend as well as that cold air continues. Stay with us. We're going to be right back after the break.